This is the 18th hole here at the Barry Country Club. It's a wonderful finisher on this Graham Cook designed golf course. And a little bit later this summer, it's going to be the scene of the crowning of the Canadian Mid Amateur Championship, which will be contested over the fairways here at this beautiful facility. Let's have a look now at the Barry Country Club. There are few golf clubs across Canada that can boast a hundred years of existence, but one of the few is Barry Country Club. Originally a nine-hole course, the club reopened at its current location after a design by Bob Moot, who learned his craft under the direction of Canada's greatest golf course architect, Stanley Thompson. Then in the mid-1990s, award-winning designer Graham Cook was brought in to retool the course. Most of Graham Cook's work has been modifications, really. We've added different tee decks, so we've been able to vary the length of it. Um, some shorter tees, some intermediate length tees, as well as a few longer tees. Uh, about 10 years ago, we made some changes on, on number 12 and uh, put a pond in just to the right of the green that helped drain the area as well as challenge the approach shot. Along with Barry Country Club, Cook has designed other great courses in Canada, including Piper's Heath and Milton, Fox Harbour in Nova Scotia, Eagles Glen in PEI, and Le Maitre de Mont-Tremblant with Fred Couples in Quebec. Barry is a well-designed course that weaves and winds its 18 holes through a valley among a handful of water hazards while playing between 5,400 and 6,900 yards long. Nestled among towering pines, it's one of the most scenic courses in the region with a perfect mixture of par threes, fours, and fives. Par threes are a very strong test, so you need some good mid or long iron shots or perhaps hybrids. There's good length on the par threes. The par fives, you've got an opportunity to make some birdies, so a good wedge player will make a chance, will have the opportunity to uh, score well and uh, make up for some errors that they might have otherwise. The first of those amazing par threes comes on the seventh, where golfers are challenged with a tough short iron shot onto a green that requires a good handle of your flat stick. Seven's an exciting hole. It, uh, has a, a green that was rebuilt about five years ago and it has a number of tiers in it and balls can collect a certain pin placement so we do get our share of hole in ones. It plays a, around the 150 yard mark, a little bit uphill so club selection is important. Uh, there can be some wind at your back that uh, lessens the uphill effect so club selection is important. Try and get your tee shot on the proper level of the greens, the key to making a three on number seven. The rest of the front nine is made up of incredible views, and none better than the first hole. As golfers get ready to tee off, they're surrounded by a beautiful garden and are only steps away from the driving range, putting, and practice greens. Once the ball is in the air, golfers find themselves perched above a fairway with a bird's eye view of the green just off in the distance. Many of the holes thereafter are just as magnificent, as the fairways are generously wide and flow into expansive greens. Players will be challenged by the undulating putting surfaces, but the course plays fair to even the most unseasoned of golfers. But two of the final holes are considered the signatures at Barry, beginning with the par 3 16th. With a small pond protecting the green and a variety of pin placements possible, it's no easy birdie, even for the best of golfers. 16 is the last of the five par three holes. Plays with a mid iron, usually 160 to 180 yards from the member tees. If you keep your tee shot to the right side, you'll avoid all the trouble. Right hand portion of the green is a very flat level putt. Chance for a birdie if you've got the tee shot on the putting surface. Meanwhile, the 18th is a wonderful finisher to the course as the short par fives gives golfers a chance to birdie their final hole of the day. With a slight uphill dogleg right, the green is situated just off the clubhouse's patio. It's an amazing ending that has great viewing potential for numerous club members just chilling out after a round of golf. 18 provides a lot of excitement. There's opportunities for, for birdies. The big hitters can get home in two. If you've got rabbit ears, you can hear the, the uh, chatter going on behind you. It might influence or affect your last shot, but it's a great club atmosphere. Barry Country Club is not just a course for locals wanting to play the game, but it's also become a hotbed for developing young golfers into great golfers. The junior program here offers all the amenities that a kid learning the game could ask for. 
From amazing training facilities to great coaching, Barry offers it all. And the results have led to numerous members riding full golf scholarships in the NCAA. Junior program thrives for a number of reasons. We've got a great staff team in place that are supportive of junior golf and get the kids involved in young ages. We start a Future Links program from age four and up. Our Wednesday Junior League is a lot of fun and we get great turnout and support for that. And our practice facilities. We have a short game practice area with three par three holes, which makes for a tremendous learning center. Uh, our golf academy and indoor winter academy provides TrackMan technology that the kids can uh, learn and get coaching on and uh, just continue to develop their game on a great golf course with all the f practice facility amenities. Perhaps it's the result of such a driven development program that has given the club the opportunity to host multiple amateur championships. The club has welcomed numerous events in the past and will again this summer with the Canadian Mid-Amateur Championship. The Canadian Men's Mid-Am will be Barry Country Club's first opportunity to show its golf course on the national stage. We've hosted all the provincial level events, Ontario Men's Amateur, Ladies Amateur. We had a 10-year uh, string of hosting the Ontario PGA Championship. We've had the junior boys and junior girls, so we're really looking forward to showing Barry Country Club across the country to the Canadian Men's Mid-Am. With a freshly minted clubhouse, a young and vibrant membership, and a course layout that is meticulously managed under the watchful eye of Graham Cook, Barry Country Club is clearly one of Ontario's great membership courses. Over the last 100 years, it's gone through much change, from relocating the entire course to renovations to its layout. But from what we see here now, the next 100 years are full of potential that could see Barry become one of the province's greatest courses.